a poet, I'm not an opera singer, so I don't have to hit the high notes, I don't have to compete with the piano, but it also means I don't get to cut, run around like a soprano covered in bling with a beautiful sequin <laughs> and cushion dress. So it's just me, my poems and a summer dress. I'd like to read now two um, relatively light-hearted poems. They're quite short. The first um, is about a word that I love. The English language is full of really lovely words that, we, that disappear. Like I came across the word chatterbroth for the drink tea. Isn't that lovely to sit down and have some chatterbroth with your friend? And recently I came across the word soul case for body. But the word in this poem is libro cubicularis. Are there any Libro Cubicularists here <laughs> that are going to own up to it? No, okay. Well, this little poem is called Confession. I'm a Libro Cubicularist, and I've been one all my life. I've never let it interfere with my duties as a wife. I have to do it at day's end and in the mornings too. And when I wake up in the night, it's the nicest thing to do. My friends are just like me, they say, and when all's done and said, I hope you're like us and love reading in your bed. <laughs> I've been married to Mark, the pianist, for over 40 years, and one thing I learned very early on was being married to Mark was committing to a threesome for the rest of my life, him, me and the piano. Although you could say now we're a quintet because he actually has three pianos. But it's not just any pianos, he's always looking round and going to check out new pianos. He loves to check out their size, what they sound like and all the rest of it. And thinking about this one day led me to write a poem called Piano Envy. <laughs> Searching wherever we go for that elusive sound of perfect lightness and grunt and dynamic possibilities. Or is it the look, the length, the make, the size, a Model D or a 280, a baby, a parlour or a concert grand? And need it really be a power inlaid fazioli? Or would a simmering shimmel do, a Steinberg or a Steinway? A Yamaha or a Kawai, or what about a young Chan? He can swap his pianos as often as he likes, as long as he doesn't swap me. 